let's talk about this trend of mixing combo and, and bufo or 5-MeO DMT. This has become super popular lately and you know it's it's worth it's worth me investigating because it has become such a a trend that perhaps there's something there but i'm going to share my preliminary thoughts um that i have on the subject now and perhaps my opinion will change as i learn more perhaps we can actually do some research eventually um looking looking at the combination of these two but uh my my initial reaction is that it's irresponsible, it's um, overly destabilizing, and potentially dangerous. So many people in the Cambo community have um, adopted an understanding that there is some sort of reaction that's dangerous when, when one does um, 5-MeO DMT or Bufo and then does Cambo shortly after. So there have been a number of cases where people do Cambo, you know, quite shortly after doing um, Bufo, you know, within two weeks or so, and they're having these violent, intense experiences that can include reactivation, prolonged vomiting, I mean, for, for days, days, um, and just really uncomfortable, intense effects that are likely unsafe. Um, I've never had this happen to any of my clients, but I have talked to other practitioners um, that have seen this, and they said it's really ugly. And, you know, one person was like, yeah, I, I thought the guy was going to die. He was vomiting for like three days straight, had to go to the hospital, had to have IVs, things like that. Um, and so it doesn't happen to everybody. And it, it's kind of unclear about why. And I have some theories with that, too. Um, but generally, it's good to um, avoid serving someone combo for a minimum of two weeks after their, their uh, Bufo or 5-MeO DMT experience, but ideally at least four weeks, perhaps six if you want to be more conservative. Um, however, a lot of people are doing Cambo and then Bufo. Sometimes like an hour before, they're literally doing Cambo and then they're doing Bufo uh, freaking an hour or two later. And of course my initial alarm bells go off and I'm like, well, why? Why are, why are people doing that? Is that valuable is that dangerous is that worth it and you know my first thought is like that sounds incredibly destabilizing for people when when both of those medicines on their own are already so incredibly destabilizing and can push people into um psychotic or disoriented places in their life that take a lot of integration and if you aren't there to support someone in that integration it's irresponsible to destabilize them that much however I have talked to people because I, I, I ask people, well, why? Why do you do this practice? Why do you combine these two things? And very few people have given me answers that felt good, but a few people have given me intelligent feedback uh, on their experience. And, you know, evidently the um, experience of the 5-MeO-DMT or the Bufo is significantly less turbulent when um, Cambo is administered prior. And... I don't know how true this is. I don't know if this is a very biased opinion, but um, it does seem like perhaps there's something to this. So I'm very curious. Uh, maybe you guys could comment and let me know what was your experience like doing Cambo and then Bufo or, or perhaps uh, in reverse order. Or, you know, if you've done these things separately and then you did them combined in, cl in close proximity, what was your experience? What was it like for you? What difference did you notice? And what did you feel that how did each of them complement each other or, or did they not? So I'd be really interested to hear from you guys so that we can start to form some safe practices that are you know, based on standards um, that are created by, by real accounts, by real people, and we can understand how to keep people safe and, and protect people and also enhance their experiences if perhaps there is a smart way to use these tools together. So I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about combining frog and toad?